Tyree Nichols' death investigation. The police report from the night officers stopped and beat Nichols details a glaringly different account from what the police video shows. Yeah, the questions over police transparency come as the family prepares to say their final goodbyes. ABC's Morgan Norwood joins us live. She's got more on the fallout as calls for police reform grow louder. Morgan. Yeah, Joel Amber, that fallout continues while authorities investigate whether more people should be charged in the beating of Tyree Nichols. The police report turned in hours after that now being called into question. New questions surrounding the incident report that officers turned in after Tyree Nichols was beaten. The report obtained by ABC News tells the story of an irate suspect. The officer writing, detectives gave verbal commands to stop resisting, and then the suspect, Tyree Nichols, grabbed for Detective Martin's gun. But the video released last Friday doesn't show Nichols ever reaching for an officer's gun. Okay, the DA promising a thorough investigation. We're just looking at everybody, you know, even people that were uh, filing reports afterwards. We're making sure that we have done a comprehensive investigation. And the investigation thus far resulting in another two officers being relieved of duty, including white officer Preston Hemphill, seen on his body camera footage deploying his taser at Nichols. Hemphill has not been charged. Nichols' family questioning why Hemphill wasn't identified until now, saying it certainly begs the question why the white officer involved in this brutal attack was shielded and protected from the public eye and to date from sufficient discipline and accountability. Hemphill's attorney says he is cooperating with the investigation. Memphis police telling ABC News it is protocol to immediately release names of officers fired, not relieved of duty. A total of seven officers involved in Nichols' death have been relieved of duty, including five who have been fired and charged with murder and three from the Memphis Fire Department have also been fired. As Tyree Nichols' family prepares to say their final goodbyes, renewed calls for police reform. President Biden saying it's time. Do you still think George Floyd Act is the most reasonable legislation to get through a divided Congress? I think we should do it right now. And the Congressional Black Caucus is set to visit the White House on Thursday to discuss that police reform legislation. White House officials, though, will travel to Memphis for Tyree Nichols' funeral. Live in New York, I'm Morgan Norwood, ABC 11 Eyewitness News. Guys. And Morgan, before you go, we know more officers have been relieved of duty. We heard that distinction in your piece between what fired means and what relieved of duty and what the policy is there. But here's the question. Do we expect more charges to come down? You know, look, Joel, we heard the district attorney saying that they're looking into everything, right, and everyone. I mean, in the wake of the conflicting police report, certainly some pressure there. I mean, police reports are supposed to reflect the facts. Bottom line here, we know the Justice Department and the State Bureau of Investigations have their own probe, and so we could see charges on multiple levels as all of these investigations continue to shake out. Joel? And we will continue our coverage. Morgan Norwood live for Morgan Norwood live for us in New York. Always good to see you, Morgan, an ABC alum.